Got him. So I got my dad out here today. Say hi, dad. Hello. He's visiting from North Georgia and my mom came down to see the babies, which I'll have to show you guys the babies soon. Um, but what we're doing with him, I'm just setting him up very easy with just a uh, Carolina rig with a mullet. Now this uh, mullet actually jumped in the boat on one of my last fishing trips. Uh, so I decided, you know what, you want to sacrifice yourself? You're going to get, uh, you're going to get used. So all we're going to do is just take this mullet and cut them into nice little coin sized pieces. Now this piece here is about three quarters of an inch. It's not a giant piece. We're using um, a Gamagatsu circle hook. The link to these are, will also be in the description below. And all I like to do is just come kind of right through the middle, come out through the skin just like this, work it nice and easy, and pop it through just like that. Now. This mullet has been previously frozen, uh, so it's not going to have uh, as much, uh, I guess, toughness to it, per se. So it may fall apart a little quicker. So if you guys have the option of getting out and netting your own mullet before you fish that morning, by all means do it, um, because fresh mullet will hold up a lot better than frozen mullet. But here's all we're doing. We're just taking a carrot, simple Carolina rig. That's a half, swing that over here. So this is just a simple Carolina rig. This is just a little half ounce sinker. I got a little plastic bead uh, tied to a swivel. And then now since we're out here in big oysters, I've stepped this leader strength up. This is actual 40 pound leader. So it looks like this at the top. I just have regular fisherman knots holding everything on. And then I'm running about a two and a half foot piece of uh, leader to that Gamagatsu. Now again, I go with a Rapala knot. I could just tie it straight on, but Anytime you can make it just kind of move around a little bit more is a benefit. And that's all we're going to do. He's going to fish one towards the front of the boat. I'm going to throw one off to the back and just let those soak. And then I'm just going to pitch. Now I'm pitching this uh, Z-Man Shrimp Z on the Eye Strike Texas Eye Hook. 3 16 ounce weight. Red eye. Color of the eye doesn't really matter as long as the eye is there. The science has proven that these fish like to see an eyeball. It increases the strike. So this is all we're going to do. We're fishing three rods. Nothing fancy, just fishing simple. Yeah, Dad, so just throw, just throw a rod out here um, in the middle because they're going to be cruising the edges, cruising the middle, so we'll just we'll kind of gauge and see where they're at. Perfect. All right, so let's check that drag since it's uh, one of the first casts of the day. So we don't want it to be too tight in the beginning. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now he's just going to sit and wait for the thump. Now the big key um, with fishing with circle hooks is you do not want to set the hook real hard, right? So if you get a fish bite it, don't yank back real hard because you can reel it out of the mouth. Just let the fish kind of take it and keep the rod tip a little level and just reel the slack out and just start reeling. That's all you got to do because that, that hook's going to come out and it's going to grab the corner of their mouth on the way out. So that's all you got to do. So don't yank it and set it. We're not bass fishing. We're not, we're not fishing with normal jig heads. And that's it. Now we sit and wait. Okay, nice and easy. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy. That's a big fish, ain't it? That's, that's a big red fish. Yep. Okay, work him towards me. No more, no more uh, reeling. You're just gonna, you're just gonna lever him over. Got him. 
right, open the bale on that reel. Open it. Yep, open it. Yep, now set the reel over here to the side. Okay. Yep. Now, hold that. Let's take this. She's big, she'll probably go back. All right, now she's safe. Holy moly. Yeah? That's a nice fish, huh? Let's get her unhooked. Easy girl. Circle hook right in the corner of the mouth, right exactly where you want it to be. It pops right out. Easy. Just like that. <laughs> All right, there's your... There's his first Georgia redfish. <laughs> Switch sides on me. The uh, sun's better on this side. Come up to the front. There you go. Nice and easy. I got stuff on the ground there. All right. Look at that. Look at that beauty. All right. Look at that. Go ahead and lay her down here on the side. Right here. Let's get a measure. So. Let me do this in a way. So nose on the zero, okay, yep. there. and then pinch the tail, and yep, so 24, she's every bit of 25. <laughs> Beautiful, 25 inch redfish. Sweet. Okay, so let me talk you through the release. So keep the, keep the left hand here, Sorry. yep, grab her tail, okay. now you're going to pick her up, just like that, two points of contact, pick her straight up, just yep, and then come right into the water with her, nice and easy. Okay, make sure she's upright, upside down, she'll, she'll get sleepy. Now all you want to do is wiggle her, don't undo this left hand yet. So just go her tail back and forth, just like she's swimming. Yep, nice swimming motion. Yep, there you go. She's to move around now. Yep, undo the bow because on the, the left hand. Yep. Oh, and away you went. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> that was cool. Nice fish, Dad. <laughs> All right. Put my dad on redfish. That's what it's all about, you guys. That's that exact same setup. All we're doing is we're just sitting here waiting. We're actually waiting for the tide to come back in, get a little water moving back in, get a little more dissolved oxygen moving. But uh, number four Gamagatsu hook on a Carolina rig with a piece of cut mullet, just exactly what I showed you guys. So that jumped in the boat. That jumped in the boat from the last trip. Yep, it's a good job, Dad. Let's Thank get out. All get, right. Let's get re-rigged and get another one. A lot of people ask me why I wear gloves fishing or just one on one hand. And one of the big reasons is when you get out here and you have a little bit of a damp hand and you have a big redfish, because we're in big redfish country, hits your line, I don't want to lose my rod. No. So I wear this gloves. This is just a little uh, fish monkey glove. I'll have a link to the description, a uh, link to this glove down in the description below. You can guys go check them out. They're pretty cheap. They're 20 bucks for a set. But what I like, I like to use just one on my right hand and then I leave my left hand free because as you guys can see, watch when I cast, I like to feather the line down with my left hand like this. And that's how I stop the, uh, the line from going out if I'm trying to get a little more precision or accurate cast. If I have a glove on, I don't have that feeling, that dexterity, and it kind of gets a little clunky. Now, a lot of guys like to fish with gloves because it protects them from the sun. As you guys can see, I stay completely covered up. I got the uh, net gator around my neck and head. And the only thing that's going to get sun is just a little bit of my nose. But I like to wear these gloves for that specifically. Another good reason, too, is if you're out here managing line and whatnot and you need to tie or wrap the line around your hand like that and pull to try to get off of an oyster or whatnot, that glove is going to keep your hand from getting cut. Same when I'm handling these redfish. Sometimes I'll just grab the leader and pull the leader up, and when the redfish shakes, it doesn't cut my hand because it's gloved. So you guys, make sure you go check these things out. I got the Amazon affiliate link below. That's a big fish. Oh, it's an alligator. <laughs> I got him. Buddy, you gotta let that go. Is it in his mouth? Yeah, it's in his mouth. Is that, oh. is that, what is it? 
Let it go. I want to be on YouTube. I'd like to get as much of this line out of his mouth as possible. Until it comes back up. This is why I wear gloves. Hey, buddy. Where is it at? All right. And he did the dirty work for me. And he didn't take any of your lines. You got your leader, right? No. I gotta retie it all. <laughs> he took my Texas eye. It's okay. We'll try another one. <laughs> oh, look here. There you go. Keep it tight. Go ahead and stand up. Come to the left front of the boat. There you go. There's a nice red fish. No, no, he's still there. He's running at the boat. Okay. He's there. Keep doing what you're doing. Let me get this out of the way. There you go. Woo, there's a big proper redfish right there. <laughs> Give her a second. <laughs> Same thing, open that bale. Open that bale. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sweet. There you go. Grab that bottom lip. Bottom, that's a big one, huh? Yeah. There? Yep, just like that. Now handle the hook. All right, hook's out. Sweet. How's about that? <laughs> that's a good size there. All right. Throw, throw her on that uh, measuring board right back here behind you. Yep. Easy. Lay her down. Yep, yep, lay her down. There you go. Nosed. Pinched. 24. She gets the meal, the free golden ticket to go home. She does? Yep, they gotta be 14 to 23. She's over slot. So she goes back. So same same release style. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> nice. All right, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for today. I was able to get out here and get my dad on some uh, really nice redfish. Uh, we didn't catch any uh, in the slot to take back home for dinner. No big deal. We got uh, redfish in the freezer anyway. Uh, the, the goal was to get him on some nice big overslot reds, and I achieved that goal. And I'm super excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Dad from Savannah. This is my dad, Tommy, and we'll catch you guys later. Take care. God bless.